the shower. I'm gonna do my snail mucin, two pumps. Dab skin, we don't apply that. Anyone else dealing with not being able to do laundry because the pani has been literally non-stop. I know every time summer kicks around or monsoon comes around, it's like, oh my god, you sabay banda, dar lag do pani pareko. Like, it feels like we say that every year, probably because it's getting progressively worse each year, but don't mind the way I look right now. This is the aftermath of over bleaching the crap out of your hair. This is what happens, okay? It's like latta all over. Boila, when I thought it was a little frizzy before I bleached my hair, I thought it was thought it would dry down frizzy. Now, it's a whole nother level of cave woman, unfortunately. It is what it is. What was I saying, Augie? Oh yeah, Pani Porera, I haven't been able to do any laundry. Hence, I'm out of robes. Not that I have a lot of summer robes, but I'm all out. Which means, wow, am I really gonna look like this for the entirety of the video? Luga Duna Napaira, it's been a struggle. And Asti Ekchen Gamayo, me being a good wife, I ended up doing all of Karin's laundry because that boy puts his clothes in the laundry after each use. What's up with that? Like, your Luga is gonna spoil. And I know my husband is not the only one who does that. Mata, I wear my clothes multiple times. I mean, of course, it's fit sweaty and covered in dog hair, and you've been out all day, of course, put in the wash, but I was just doing girly things. And it's not that dirty, it's fine. So I'm currently getting ready to go to Jab's um, birthday. Uh, we're just having a little intimate thing at his place. Probably something chill, like we opened a bottle of Dom, the one that was gifted to me. Well, gifted to not me, what am I saying? Gifted to Bebu. I just realized it was his gift and I opened it on my birthday. Oops. My grandpa, Pa, he got both the daughters, granddaughters, Chivrama, co-husbands, aka Jabs and Bebu, a bottle of vintage Dom from, from God knows when. Mine is from 1994. That's easy to remember because my birth year is 94. Yeah, some of you are probably freaking out in the back. Oh my God! Her birth year begins with a nine. I have the pictures. Let me show you. These Polaroids from my birthday. Yeah, so he wants to open up his for his birthday. So we're probably gonna do that. So I'm just gonna get the ball rolling with a get ready with me while I answer some of your DMs. Sorry about the Mela in the background. If you guys can hear it, because I can hear it and it's very, very loud. So I use the Cosrx Quote Nail Mucin first. I always prep that. One nice thing about it is that it doesn't pill underneath my makeup. Primer. OG. So good. I know it's just a moisturizer, but it's so nice. Youth to the people go oil. I highly recommend guys, if you are considering to bleach, take some advice from your internet sister. Do not bleach your hair. It's a bad idea. Like if you're craving some sort of change, want something drastic, then ask your hairstylist, your hairdresser, Kigorna Milsa, to achieve a different look without bleaching because it's such a nightmare to untangle this. I don't want to go to the beach and then come out of the water looking like this. It just alters everything. The hair quality, the hair texture of your hair, your natural hair, okay? Forever. Unless you chop it off and you're the bleach thingy, but you the kidney surons and so that's not gonna happen. Enough about my hair. I feel like I've gone on and on about my hair for quite some time. Hair oil, one pump. This is a nice dry oil. It doesn't leave a chip chip afterwards. The one last thing about my hair, I will say that I have been taking better care of it after it's gone to shit. I don't know where to start. Dividing in sections is the best thing, but I'm gonna put this on time lapse because this is gonna take a minute. Oh, hot call you. Hey, Blue Blue, I thought you forgot about me. I would never. I would never. I'm never. Karin's like, can you not show all my sides in front of your viewers? I'm like, why? And they love you. I didn't say it like that. What'd you can say? you not? I said, Woman, I you better not. Do not put my face. Oh. Cheers. Oh, oh no, my this, god. This, this is tastes, a leftover. This tastes so much like Blue Moon. It does. Guys, about Lata Sape Kulio. What's Brooklyn doing, bum? It's a party outside that we don't know about. Oh, you're changing the sheets like a good little boy. You think I a cookies bun on a bounce bum? It's already for something. No. You said you want to. I mean, we should do something. Yeah, 100% we should do something. Wait, it, the butter is still softening anyway, you guys. I found this single serve chocolate chip cookie that's like literally, I think I put it in my vlog previously, but it's literally this size and it's single serve. Super sajilo. Honestly, the best chocolate chip cookie I've ever had. I'm not even a fan of chocolate chip cookies and this was that good. Okay, Anna, baby. Mm -hmm. Shivu said it's literally the best cookie she ever had. And I was like, shh, mama might hear you. <laughs> I really want to take some for Javs. Not as a birthday gift, but just as I know he'd like it. 
Okay, let's start out answering some DMs. What is beer hit so different? My request, I'm just going to start answering. Aisha Subedi says, Hey, the Jew, I wanted to ask you this question for so long. I hope you reply to this. You know how you only move. Okay, Bobby, can you read? I can't multitask. My eyebrows are like gonna. <coughs> Hey Dizu, I wanted to ask this question for so long. I hope you reply to this. You know how you only have to the States like six years ago? How is your English so fluent, accented, and Nepali not so good? Sorry, I didn't mean that in a negative way because me, myself, moved to Sydney six years ago, but still my Nepali is fluent. Valid question. I don't take that in a negative way at all. A lot of people know that I only live in the States for seven years and my Nepali is very weak. You should be very, very proud of yourself, the fact that you're that you're fluent in your mother tongue. Like, I'm honestly jealous of the fact that you've been able to keep it up. Uh, it's gotten better since I, I've lived here for the past four years, but Lech Neta, oh my god. Honestly, when I had to write my name Supriya in Nepali, I almost had like a little heart palpitation. I was like, oh, 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 I forgot how to write it. Like, that's embarrassing me. I do feel very sad that I'm not fluent in Afne mother tongue, and it's a struggle for me to even say a proper Sudha Nepali sentence. Also, I think the day-to-day -day interactions really matter. I have a husband who also doesn't speak Nepali. Data. I know you don't go to So it's your fault. You don't go to an office that's Aww. based in Nepal that Aww. majority of people speak Would be Nepali. Would speaking Nepali, yeah. yeah. That, true that, true that. Thank you, Bobby. Okay. You're such a lawyer. Okay, next. I didn't even get to... Oh my god. Miro Kura Katha is so lamo that I didn't even answer the damn question. The question was, how did I forget? I've only spoken to you guys that I lived in New York for seven years, but I feel one huge part of Miro Nepali being so weak is that when I was much younger, first and second grade, my grandparents pulled me out of school to Rata Bangla. I know. One of the toughest schools to get into Nepal, so I always have to mention that in. Be like, I was in Atabangla. But that lasted for less than a year because my grandparents, needy little grandparents, Manpa wanted me to move with them to Belgium because my grandfather was posted there for four years. They love their Natini, so they wanted me to live with them. They literally took their grandchild out of school, didn't put me in the school in Belgium. Like, I could be Paul vous Français in French right now, but like bumming around there for several months out of the year and i feel like first grade second grade would have been the building blocks to nepali alphabet nepali numbers this uh, around the time when i was how old was i oh, i must have been 10 years old yeah 10 years old then we moved to washington dc in the states that was the fourth grade they would say obviously a completely american school and that also messed up my nepali so um first or second grade nepali in and out of school so do big deal when I was in the fifth grade, my entire family moved to DC and that also messed up my Nepali. I don't think I've ever shared that with you guys before because you're probably thinking like, who leaves when they're an adult? Because when I left that I was 20 for the third time. It shouldn't have affected my Nepali istorini, but I hope that kind of makes you guys understand. Now I left the country in a total of three times in my life. So that heavily impacted my ability to speak Nepali. Katam, that is my Rolamo Bhasan. Going back, 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 back. Moving on. That was just one question. Yeah. Oh my god, we're gonna be late. Uh, Anushka says, No, your blonde hair looks so pretty on you. You look like a doll regardless. Thank you so much, guys. I was kind of surprised how much love I was getting on my blonde hair situation. I don't know if you guys are just saying that because you love me or you genuinely mean it, but knowing you guys, probably genuine. But it's just not the color that I wanted. You know, a couple of shades, difference, Paco boy, but then maybe then I would be okay with it. It's like I asked for black and I got white. This so different boy. So yeah, that that that's why I just didn't feel like myself. I felt super knuckly and just not myself. So I had to change it. But thank you for your feedback. I'm getting a lot of pee pee. Do you ship to India? Yes, we do. With minimum order of three thousand. Sweta says I request you to make your products available here in Bokra. Fingers crossed. I'm working on it, guys. Love, love, love to have made of products in Bokra. Physically there, not just shipping. Sampa says your vlog not only being real, relatable, but your entrepreneurship journey inspires me. It'll be great if you could do video on how to start any business risk, research, or sales. This DM was honestly the reason why it inspired me to make this video because sometimes through Hunsaki, you kind of have a creator lock. You get kind of caught up with like, what do people want to see? They get bored of this. Is this too boring or repetitive? Like this, that's normal, you know? I wasn't, and Pani Pani is raining like crazy, and so I'm somebody that gets like seasonal depression. As soon as it's raining, I'm like, okay, order Momo, let's watch Game of Thrones and chill on the couch, which is not the best habit ever. <laughs> 
And trust me, you guys, I read all of your DMs. I really do. I may not be able to respond to all of yours because if I do that, it'll open the floodgates and I won't be able to receive or filter through work DMs. This DM inspired me to make this video that you're watching right now to share a little bit more of middle business behind the scenes as opposed to it's like, you know, fun, 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 fun. I mean, not saying that working isn't fun. You know, you get what I'm trying to say. So thank you for sending that message. Shreya says, mother, give us concealers. I love when you guys call me mother, especially because I'm watching Game of Thrones and I'm just like mother of dragons. <laughs> concealers is definitely a trickier makeup item to bring because you know, I don't want to disappoint you guys with the shade range. And I'm like very, very loyal to my like particular brands that I use. Key, like Too Faced Co. and this Hourglass Co. is okay, but Mido Shade Ali Mili Datsina, it's a little bright, but I do sometimes like a super bright under eye. Snars one is OG for my lighter makeup days, and this one is for my more intense coverage days. A little gado for me to say that I would expand to concealers. Maybe one day, maybe one day, if I met the right manufacturers with high quality ingredients, and if I can provide you guys that for a fraction of the price, like this, I believe in Nepal would cost anywhere from like 5,000 to six, I don't know. I was able to find a similar formula and sell it more affordable rate. You got it. Recipe please, recipe please, please. They're referring to the fried chicken. Oof, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I forgot to vlog that day, but my husband was craving some KFC and I was like, I'm gonna make you some fried chicken because that's what I do. So yeah, it was so good. Maya says, Nutribullet ko blender kata bada kinu ko please bandi nusna. Bebu ordered from a friend who was visiting from the States, from Amazon. If you do see, to make sure if it's like the real thing. I haven't even seen a knockoff, but it was definitely a good purchase because the last Ninja blender that Bebu got has lasted us over six years and it's still amazing. So this Nutribullet is. Bebu, you still here? It's so entertaining watching you. Really? Do this. Yeah. Oh, I get, give me a chew. I, I get like a live show. Just tell Ivy. me when to laugh or to clap. <laughs> Shut up. Ivy Oak says your pants are from. I think you're referring to these that my husband got from Thailand. I ordered it online. Sexy little leopard cheetah. One or the other. One of the other pants. Didn't realize it would be so patlo, but I guess it makes sense because it's summer. It's not so patlo where it's see through, but it was kind of flattering because it made my butt look good. Like really good. Like my butt was literally jiggling in it. Which is surprising because my butt doesn't jiggle like that. You got that from where, Baba Zara, I know? Zara or Mango? Zara, I think. Zara, yeah. I'm gonna go in a little tiny bit. This is one of the lightest shades, or is it the lightest? Second lightest shade in the Hourglass line. The shade Cotton. This is not my skin tone, but I just like a very bright under eye. I haven't done my eyebrows, so a little bit under the brow. Niruta said, where did you get this? It's a picture that I posted on my story of this mortar. I don't know what it's called in Nepali, but I've been saying tang tang garne. I picked that up in Salisbury and I've been looking for one for such a long time because ones that I've seen in Bad Bettini and elsewhere, the marble ko and marble I was told is a very bad idea to get because marble tang foot na soksa doing tetsiat to lossun on adwa. You don't want pieces of marble, obviously. So stone ko is better when I picked that up from Salisbury. Your marriage gunch Salisbury. Nas Paul says, What gym is this? Joined a gym recently. Recently. I haven't gone in a week. All thanks to PPB. Back is like literally so tight. Both me and Shivi are like struggling because it's almost my time of the month. It's Shivi's time of the month. We're like cracking our backs like koop it all. Like we really need to pause in between and just do some like stretching or mobility work. The gym that we joined is called Rush Fitness. Gangala Hospital. Really nice. It's one of the few gyms in Nepal that has like ample of space and so much greenery outside the window. It almost feels like you're somewhere else. Okay? when you come there. Itcha says, Priya, how are you? It's been so many months. I'm trying to reach out regarding your bridal sari. I'm a bride for monks here. I'm inspired by your sari. That's so sweet. From where in Bangladesh did you buy it? Please help me out. If I do get more information about where in Bangladesh exactly, because I didn't physically go to Bangladesh to pick it up. A family friend in Bangladesh, she's from there. A video chat ma, she showed me a bunch of options and I just picked the one that I loved. I can ask her and then mention it in Mero bio where exactly or which area she got it from. Guys, I was looking for other DMs that are questions. So many talking about my hair and saying how good it looks. So there's a little part of me that I was like, mm, did I? Die too fast, but no. Thank you so much. This is like overwhelming. I didn't even get a chance to go through these, but these are a lot of messages. It just keep every time I refresh, it just keeps going and going and going. But thank you guys. This is so sweet. Alicia says, where did you color your hair? The first time that I colored my hair was Veda, Veda Salon. You guys know that I've been going there for years. Am I a little disappointed by the results of what happened? 
Yes. Would I still go there to get my haircuts? Of course. I'm just using Pretty Please Go. Mine are so busted, guys. This is embarrassing. Ball spider. I'm using these crusty dusty lashes, flirty and silly. The second time I went to Glam by Anu. Honestly, I was so desperate to color my hair immediately that the first sponsored ad that I saw, I spoke to her online for a consultation first. Like we did a whole video chat. I told her the history, what happened, blah blah blah, and what I wanted. We made an appointment the Monday next week and just I went there and to get my hair fixed. Pasang says, why can't I see this video in Australia? They mentioned restriction or some other. Other word that sucks like i would be so disappointed in made of videos without even getting notified like after i read this message ostine i went to check my youtube studio app to see if i missed something or why this video is getting restricted but i really hope you know youtube videos aren't being restricted for anybody I first set the under eyes with a beauty sponge this is not the real um keep on it's a beauty blender by the way guys like I think it's ridiculous to spend over $20 for a sponge you have to throw away after three months. Can't use it forever. Some of you be using these sponges till it's crusty, dusty, and moldy. You're not supposed to do that. Please don't do that. Lena says, could you also put down a link for the shoes to love these? Oh my god, I've been trying to get my hands on these shoes for the longest time. She's referring to the Nike Metcon 4. Super, super hard to find. I went to India Zanakiri. I looked at the Nike showroom. I order all my sneakers from kickscrew.com. They have all these cool sneakers that are like limited edition or like trendy if that's the right word these brushes from elf are so good my friend got them for me when she was when she was visiting nepal four dollars six dollars something crazy like that on amazon it just i wish i could link everything for you guys you know a lot of you guys will inquire about it and i just feel shit that i can't even say oh you a puzzle but uh, or it's accessible in nepal one right? these are the nike metcon fours from kickscrew.com the where did you get this blue dress from it's a dress that i picked up from Zara when I was in Bombay or something. It was so long ago, I don't remember, but the tag was still on it. I hadn't worn it. I was saving it for a special occasion. Yeah, but I'm obsessed with this drink. It's a drink. I'm obsessed with this dress. It's from Zara. Brooklyn is glowing. That is so sweet. When you guys message me about Brooklyn, I feel like I'm so happy because I feel like a lot of you guys were super surprised that we adopted instead of buying. Even Cashew was adopted. Brooklyn is adopted. Both of Shivu's pups are adopted. I wish we could adopt more if we were capable of handling more. I truly believe that there's a whole abundance. There's a surplus of dogs that need a home, especially in a place like Kathmandu. So why buy? I guess like having a particular breed that you want it's fine, but for me, it's like I don't feel that type of way. Do I find certain breeds more cute or adorable? Yeah, sure, but I just can't justify paying these ridiculous amounts of money. Dogs that are being manufactured basically in cost of condition, god knows, not all breeders operate in a certain standard, Ola, but I just can't justify buying one and supporting that industry when there's so many that need a home already. It's like a win-win situation. Brooklyn needed a home and we wanted a puppy. So thank you for saying Brooklyn is glowing because she really is. And she is such a long puppy. Everybody that meets her, sees her, is like, oh my God, she's so long. Everybody compares her to either a Doberman or a Greyhound because her neck is so long. Definitely didn't get it from me because this is giving four inches. Super, super blessed to have Brooklyn in her life. It's, I feel like it's added so much more joy and enrichment. And the other day, Bibu and I were just talking about probably like half an hour just about her routine. And then and then Brooklyn is to go to And I was like, oh, Ani? Ani? Oh, yeah. And then she, she was so naughty and she chewed on this. I was like, oh, yeah. And then what happened? And I was like, what did we talk about before we had Brooklyn? Because I feel like we just talk about Brooklyn 24-7 nowadays. Uh, Renisha says, the which app do you use for editing? I've mentioned this before, but I use Final Cut Pro. It was definitely an investment. And I'm glad that I did because it's quite a lump sum. It's $300. I used to use the uh, pirated version, but once I got a new laptop, it just didn't work. Everything is learned from YouTube itself. A spike and DMs that I got the other day was from this video posted with Bebu. All of them say you lost so much weight. I wish I could say that was true because I'm trying to lose a couple of kilos, that's for sure. Because I'm the highest that I've ever been. Okay, for reference, I'm 5'4 and weigh 63 kilos. It's not even so much the number on the weight scale, it's more of how I look and feel in my luga. Was I flattered when I got a lot of comments saying, oh my god, you lost weight? Of course. But it's the pants, guys. When you wear something looser than your actual size, it's not like tight fitting tight. Tony Bithi Sape Boso like will be hanging out from every angle which sat right below my belly button it gave the illusion that I lost weight but I didn't I'm gonna have to stop reading just for a bit while I do my eyeshadow I'm also putting makeup on after almost two weeks because I literally have been holed up at home I'm doing something very simple because it's not like a big event at all so I'm just trying to keep it chill 
I should wrap it up again because I still have to do my hair. I will check back with you guys in a minute. Lipo. Are you saying that I got lipo? Thank you. But no. Do a last question. Hi, Supriya. I followed you on Instagram since a while. Finally subscribed to your YouTube channel too. Thank you. Because I'm so obsessed watching your vlog. Started watching uh, your We Are Moving videos. I showed your video clips to my husband and he remembered you helping us when we were walking around Sanipa area. I was walking with my bag with chain open and you informed me about it. Thank you so much for doing that. You are doing great, I must say. Keep it up, much love. Oh my god, that is so crazy. I can't believe that we actually met each other, Sanipa Ma, and my nose, yeah. Is like your bag is open. <laughs> Glad that we caught that because I'm ek number ko bag khulle gari rahi ne manche, which is such a bad idea. Like things could you know fall out, slip out. But yeah, I'm so glad that we share that little memory together. That's so cute. Let's see what all the hype is about. I remember this being one of the first setting sprays before I was able to afford like high end makeup. I remember seeing this all over social media. Ooh, packaging is nice. This is really gonna be hard for me to beat because I'm actually like really, really in love with this. Like there's a lot of products that I think are very gimmick gimmicky. I still think that primers are gimmicky. I've never found a primer that I'm like, wow, this changed my whole face. Made my makeup last longer. Like I have the milk makeup one. I have a sample version of the Benefit one. I know this is super popular. This one went viral. Hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Like made my foundation go all cakey, patchy. But setting sprays, I thought was also very gimmicky. I was like, why would I want to douse my face wet after all this hard work? But yo use gore pachi, I'm like, I'm a believer. That's why I went and got this. It has a very nostalgic smell. It's nothing too crazy. Not like the Jeffree Star one. Taste. Horrible. It smells like my shampoo, honestly. This fan I got from H&M. Best purchase ever. I'm gonna do my lips and I'm gonna bake my cookies and I'll show you. We're really run running late now and I have an hour to leave. And I have to do my hair. This is what it looks like when it's 80% dry. See how much lighter it is now? Bleach. Like, might as well, you know, do a color that you wouldn't be able to do if you hadn't bleached your hair. You know what I mean? The bottom is much lighter. Can you guys see? Okay, I'll see you guys in a minute. My husband's up. Oh, hello there. You want to say hi to the vlog? Say hi, Chan. You show them your giraffe neck. You hi, Jonyo. Do you do on you? You good girl. You want a cookie? Are you hungry? You hungry? Oh, okay. Did you? Uh, no, it's her dinner time today. Sit. A good girl. Guys, I'm teaching her how to do chew, and she finally learned chew. Only teach her bakwas. Unimportant. Yes, what? I only te teach her the unimportant tricks. Bebu does all the important ones like stay and sit and go to your crate. King, ooh, what is that? That's the milk. The heavy milk? Eh, nice. What? You want that body sign so love, Abby? Yeah. Just jumping all around me. Why is this one the light on, Bob? I'm gonna include the cookie, chocolate chip, chocolate chip, ch chocolate chip cookie recipe. What are you doing? Excuse me. She's chewing me. Oh, leave it. You tying it for me? Yeah. This is the outfit I'm wearing tonight. Hamza. Hamza? Yeah, it's cute. So I will include the chocolate chip cookie recipe for you guys on the screen. Highly recommend. If you live alone, if you don't live alone, make it because it's single serve and it's massive, like I mentioned before. Bebu's cut up the chocolate chips for me. Do a dark compound. It's good, it's good for baking and such. My battery's about to die. The battery dies so fast. I have four batteries. Okay, you guys don't care about this. Okay, bye. So the yield Six is one. Times. Six, six times the recipe because it's single serve. Mm. See how yeah. Excuse me. Adorable. So Papa, I don't know. One side, you know? Okay, that's, that's one cookie. That's a lot. I know. Don't, don't, don't be so awkward. No, I'm not No, I put it in the fridge in the box. Oh wow, it's actually okay, effervescent. Pop, pop. Don't carry your own. Oh, look at the color. Mm. It's okay, cheers. cheers. Happy cheers. birthday, Josh. Hey. We were all dressed up to go to Arjuanti and Sherboa's anniversary. It's their 30th anniversary, no? So this is the fit. I made this dress for Shivi's Bia. This is Odni, but I didn't get to wear it for her events. Not that I wouldn't rewear it. But I didn't get to wear it that day because I got too, a little too litty. I did my own hair with my Rotio Rollers Haru. I just filmed a bunch of content for Instagram. 
and I'm wearing the shade Barbie. If any of you guys are curious, I just lined my lips with Mido OG Mac Spice, and then on top of that is gummy. I did I just call it Barbie? Oops. Uh, Barbie is now discontinued, but we have a baby pink version of Barbie called Gummy. This is the shade that I'm wearing right now. It's so stunning. Look at my lips. They've never looked so juicy. So I'm, I'm in love with my products because it makes my Brooklyn, lips so stop it. juicy. <laughs> Bobby, do you want to do a little OOTD? All right. I don't know what OOTD is, but Ow. the suit I got made for my sister's wedding uh, back in 2002. Haircut by Cuts and Coffee, or well, actually Rahul, who used to work in Cuts and Coffee at Shout Next Level. Rahul. <laughs> yeah. I'll feed her. You guys, my booty looks so big in this dress. I'm wearing Spanx. I my like grandma panties that kind of like tighter here. But still, nothing is holding me in. This is sucking in. I'm gonna give her food, eh? Okay. Bye, see you later, folks. Come on, where's your goodbye? I'm not saying goodbye yet. Come on. Leave. Go. Come on, folks. We'll go. Mama's moody ass be on the camera and dish it out to the fans. Come on. He's annoying me because he had all week to plan an outfit, and I know men don't care as much as women, naturally, but at least just have your outfit ready a couple hours later. I go downstairs, his suit, is completely wrinkly and he's like oh yeah we don't have a steamer or an iron here i was like okay why didn't you come up to me at least i have a hair straightener let's diy it i'm not going anywhere with you with your suit looking all wrinkly and busted it looks like you slept in that suit for three days straight and now you're planning to wear it again Ugh. men can be so frustrating but we gotta deal with them anyway i really like my outfit guys i feel so cute 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 hey 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 is there a dog on my butt oh my god there's a dog on my butt no one will notice it's so dark we're just gonna have a good time and celebrate and it's gonna be a dance party so i'm gonna dance my little butt off <laughs> mom papu we just like to congratulate you on 30 beautiful and wonderful years together we love you so much and thank you for being the pillar of our family Aww. congratulations This one's separate, so you don't have to worry about color. It's nice 